Welcome back to the part 3 build video of the ERC Time Safe CNC foam board cutter. In this video, these are the parts we are going to need to build the X axis. We are going to start with the easy part first. Take an M3 lock nut, put it in, fits well. So I'm going to apply super glue in it. It's a must to apply super glue. You'll thank me later. After it's dry, try to screw in the M316mm into it. Do not have to tighten it. This is the idler gear mount, which also acts as a tensioner for the X-axis belt. And this is like a landing gear sort of uh, support to prevent the X-axis from uh, dropping down because of the long length of X-axis aluminum extrusion. We may have to file the edge here for good fitment. Also ensure the holes here are exactly 5mm so your screw can easily pass through. Once you're happy with the fitment, you can apply super glue to secure it. Now we are going to install a V-slot roller onto the X-axis support. You need an M5 25mm screw, two washers for in between the rollers and one lock nut. Notice the orientation. This with the knob here is facing inside. It's for this part is for the aluminum extrusion. This is where you put the idler gear. Once you have secured it, make sure the roller is able to rotate smoothly. Next, installing the idler gear. You need an M5 25mm screw, 5mm spacer, idler gear and lock nut. Once you tighten it, make sure the idler gear is able to rotate smoothly. If not, loosen the nut a little bit and try it again. Now we are going to load in an M5 10mm screw and put the T nut or hammer nut over it. You do not need to tighten it just yet. Then we are going to install the rollers onto it at the back. Notice orientation. You need 3 M5 30mm screw, 3 6mm thickness spacer and 3 lock nut. My screw can't go through. I have to drill it with a 5mm drill bit. I rather that the hole came out smaller so I drill it with a 5mm meter drill bit to ensure the tolerance is tight. It goes through perfectly. I put in a 6mm spacer. So this is tight as well. Now it fits perfectly. Repeat for the other two rollers. Make sure your rollers are able to rotate smoothly. If they are not, loosen your nut a little bit and try again. Great. This is the X-axis cable organizer. We're going to put in an M5 10mm screw and a T-nut. Do not need to tighten it as well. Just put it there for now. Now we are going to remove the Y upper plate we installed just now so that we can install the 2020 aluminum extrusion as well as the stepper motor onto the Y upper plate. If it's too tight while removing it, you can wiggle it a bit or using an M5 drill bit to enlarge the hole a little bit, just a little bit. We are going to install the stepper motor first. You need 4 25mm M3 screw and a 17mm spacer as well as a drive gear for the stepper motor. So notice the orientation. You should have a rectangular hole towards that side. So I'll take a spacer and a screw, slot in here the holes for the motor mount. Notice the four holes here. Then the orientation, socket facing the back. Align the screw, screw it in. Make sure it's aligned. Put it in another spacer and screw as well. Repeat on the other side. Once you have loaded all the four screws, you can start to tighten them. Now to install the drive gear for the X-axis stepper motor, Notice the orientation is different than the y-axis. It goes in this way instead of this way. So same thing, we are going to adjust the height later on. Just roughly tighten first. Now we are going to install the V-slot 2020 aluminum extrusion with a length of 76cm onto the Y upper plate. So I'll put in an M5 10mm screw here. Apply Loctite. 
no position the T nut slot in your aluminium extrusion push it all the way in while you're holding it now you can tighten the M5 screw make sure this is really tight and make sure you have lock tight as well or it may loosen itself over time now this comes a tricky part which is installing the 6mm GT2 belt this has a length of 165cm so I've installed the X plate A onto the 2020 extrusion and it's moving really smooth so that's a great thing I'm going to install one end of the belt to the X plate A first and notice the orientation the gear is facing away from me so I'm going to slot it in you can cut the end at an angle so that it helps you to slot in easily If a length about like this, protruded, make sure it's secured. Then I'll make sure they're all facing the same way. Slot it into the slot of the extrusion. Keep it all the time inside or underneath the spacers here then you round it over ensure that it's still inside okay now put it over to the other side ensure again the belt is aligned correctly right, this is the tricky part okay slide in your plate to prevent the belt from uh, coming out of the drive gear you have to push it you have to push the belt while holding the other end at the same time now I try to slot in the other end to the X plate now comes the tricky part of installing the tensioner Try to put the idler gear in and at the same time slot the, the side with the T-nut into the slot. It's not in yet. I okay, have to loosen it a bit. Okay, now in this case, I think the idler gear is way too far out of the extrusion. So I'm gonna do some adjustment. I have to uh, take out the idler gear again. I'm gonna shorten it. So I'm gonna shorten the whole belt. To pull more belt into the plate and then slot it in again and install the T nut into the 2020 slot. Now check your tension. Now this is the right gap between the idler gear and the 2020 extrusion. I'll just give a little bit of force to tension the belt and then tighten it. So same thing again, once you install the zapper and the belt, this one doesn't uh, 
move as smooth as without them. If your idle gear is still too far away from the extrusion, you have to pull this tighter to make the belt shorter. Check the belt along the slot of the 2020 and make sure the belt is not flipped. It's all parallel, correct. Now I'm going to adjust the height of the drive gear. So I need it to be a little bit lower. Now to install the cable organizer and uh, in the previous video I have installed the screw uh, the other way around so this should be the correct orientation and uh, notice the orientation again at the angle so it should be pointing that side uh, tighten it so this one you want to pull it all the way in touching the stepper motor as well so that the wire goes out smoothly and an angle. Now you can install your cutter assembly by removing the M3 screw over here. Put it over. Put in your M3 screw. So if you follow my specs and uh, parts exactly the same, you should be pushing this plate all the way up. So when the plate is down, when it's a cutting position, the tip of the welding tip it will be just 1 or 2 mm above the foam board, the two layers of foam board. Now the assembly on the extrusion looks good, isn't it? Now you can install your x-axis assembly onto the y-axis. And uh, due to the flex of uh, 3D printed part, the screw may not align well with the y upper plate. But over time, it will settle itself and you can re remove it easily. Now it's still a little bit tight due to the flex. Install this. Congratulations, you have completed the basic structure of the whole CNC machine. In the next video, it's about the wiring as well as assembling the Arduino Uno and CNC shield. Please like and subscribe if you have not done so. I'll now see you in the next video.